Hey, what's up everybody? Luke Stratton here with Luke Stratton Designs. I'm here at the lovely Capitol Theater in Portchester, New York with uh, the Motet and Lettuce. And uh, I'm gonna take you through the newest software product I'm offering, which is the APC40 Mark II software package for Grand MA and Bohm's MIDI Translator. So this is um, a Bohm script and a Lua plugin that runs on MA2. Um, I'm running it on an external laptop, but you could run it off of a Bohm box as well. So you can just plug that straight into MA2. Basically, we're turning an MA2 into a full size here. But the cool thing is this thing has full RGB color feedback. So I'm going to show you that now. Check this out. So you can see here I've got, using the appearance keyword, I've labeled these different executors. And down here, the executors match. So you can see that the color matches the screen, and then if they're running, they're pulsing like those guys. So like if I go, in this case, this guy up here pulses, back to here, it's pulsing. Pretty cool. Now, you're wondering like, oh cool, what if I want to change colors? Well, it's pretty easy. Like if I flip over here to some demo pages, here's like a pastel page. I've written a series of macros here where I can just click on this macro view and if I click any of these and then click an executor, it'll automatically change the color. So like, let's say this Ruby executor, let's say I want it to be green. I'll just click the green macro, tap it here and boom, it recolors. Go back to this pastel Ruby, there we go, right? Now, you don't have to color assign things. If you go here up to, um, let's see here. On this page here, I have just a regular executor. If you don't add, add any color to it, it'll just be yellow, just like it is in MA up here. But if it's running, it'll be blue and pulsing, kind of like it is in MA. And if you put like a macro or a special thing up there, it'll be red by default. Now, of course, LED, oh, let's see, I want that macro to be green. Voila. So it does full page control, so I can page through. And there's code to actually add the update into like a button press. So like these are macros that change the page. When I click this, it automatically runs the code. So like, let's say you have the refresh rate set to lower than instantaneous. These can help you so that when you click the button, boom, it immediately switches to the, the correct color code here. And I'll match it here on MA for you. Voila. Everything is mapped in MA, including the knobs. These have LED feedback as well. The faders are mapped. Of course, they're not motorized. Uh, and these guys down here, both of these buttons, the bottom ones are mapped to, to button one, like this right here. This button right here is like these over here. And then I've got button two and button three are here. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can find out more info on Luke Stratton Designs. Uh, there's even a link to buy the code and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I found you too. You know who it supposed to do. Look in my eyes, find a look in you. You can't deny that there's something to Cause everybody wants to get high. But how you gonna make it if you don't try? Everybody wants to.